Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Augusta Moloko, and this is Costa's channel. You are most definitely welcome. And to my already subscribers, to those that are already subscribed to me, you guys are the real MVP. Like, you guys are the foundation of this channel. <laughs> and to my newbies, like, if this is the first time of you watching my video, please subscribe it is absolutely free and kindly notification bell so that you'll be instantly notified anytime i upload a new video so with that being said today we are going to be talking about interesting topic like interesting topic we all know that in nigeria tailors it's not every time you tend to it's not every time aside christmas and easter not every other day you are sewing there are some week that sewing job don't come like that whereas there are some week that is very 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 busy so i'm here to give you five things five side hustles you can do as a nigerian tailor it can even be applied any other country aside nigeria so guys this is a kind of video you like to watch please kindly subscribe subscribe for a lot of juicy juicy sewing tutorials coming i have a lot of sewing tutorials coming guys so please stay tuned <laughs> As earlier said we are going to be talking about five side holes you're going to be doing as a nigerian tailor first Number of all one. weaving weaving like weaving weaving industrial weaving white weaving what kind any kind of weaving weaving if you are a tailor and sorry if you are a tailor and you have spare money please invest in the weaving machine because not all tailor shop has a weaving machine like not all tailor shop have a weaving machine some people after sewing they take it to the market or to a weaving store to weave so as a tailor if you have money please invest in a weaving machine and this this weaving machine side hustle it's going to be more profitable if it is in an if your store is in an area that is saturated by tailors it's going to be very very profitable for you so weaving is something you should consider and one thing about weaving is not as if somebody will bring weaving bring clothes for you to come and weave and they will not pay money no it's not like sewing that they will tell you we'll see later or i'll transfer later no weaving is something you do and you get your money instantly so weaving is something you should look at for to invest that's that for that number two point is selling of fabric guys like selling of, you can sell something like this silk material sell it display it in a in a corner of your shop when customers some customers might just come for pickup and they will just easily fall in love with the fabric and that is win-win situation because they might buy the fabric from you and still give you to sew the fabric so fabric is something you should invest in and selling fabric also if you have apprentices they can still patronize from you instead of going to the main markets and another thing about selling of fabric is that other tailors can also come to buy from you as well that's why i'm saying that mainly these ones i'm talking about is in an environment that is saturated by tailor. another side hustle you should do as a nigerian tailor is selling of tailoring materials if you have that spare fifty thousand, if you have a spare of if you have fifty thousand in your bank that you're not using you can just invest in tailoring materials because tailoring material has a lot of profits it might be looking 
somehow but it really has a lot of profit so if you can invest in tailoring material it will do you good is that for our number three selling of tailoring material then number four is the one that many people started doing recently many tailors in nigeria they started doing this one recently make something out of your materials that are remaining it could be a customer's material i don't know but just any fabric that is lying around that you know that your customer will not use because it's either small or it's not just going to put anything together make something out of that it could be either bonnets satin bonnets it could be either satin bonnets headband turban just make something that material like you're throwing a, like you're throwing out every time you're throwing out your money just know that you're throwing away your money from today if you invest in this thing i'm telling you you see that you've wasted thousands of money You've wasted a lot of money just by throwing remaining fabrics. So something you should definitely try to invest on. Make something out of the remaining fabric you have. These turbans, this they are being sold for 700, 800, even 1000, 15. Depending. It goes on and on. So you can just start making something. Turban. Recently, even face masks. All tailor shops during this corona period, all tailor shops they were making um, nose masks and the rest. So don't just throw all those your scrap fabrics, use them for something. You'll be glad I told you so. Number four is one that <laughs> it's not so new, it's trending on Instagram now. Make ready to wear dresses, it's like. Everybody knows that on Instagram, that's what is killing now. Ready to wear fabrics is killing. Like, just go to the market, buy, buy all this. And one thing about ready to wear, it does not have to be complicated. They are very, very free, very, very free to make. Very easy breezy, very easy. All those things they sell on Instagram, you see shift dresses on Instagram. They are very, very simple to make. And with three years, you can have, you can just make one ready to wear. So getting six years of Ankara, you're making two, and it's being sold for five thousand, four thousand, four five on Instagram. So if you can make it, make it and display in your shop, and people will still come to buy because what people need now is what they will just wear and they are good to go. Nobody needs time for doing this one, boxing this one. Everybody does not have time. Everybody wants something that is very, very easy. Make ready to wear dresses. You can start from 10, 10 pieces I mean. You can start from 10, make it in different sizes, size 10, 12 depending on your clients because you or you because you know your targets you know your target clients if you're making for mommies that are big if you're making for plus size you know you're going for 16 size 16 size 18 you just know the people you are targeting you make their sizes even when somebody brings a, a clothes for you to make you they can easily just walk through your shop walk around your shop and they will just they might just see who knows they might see what they want that's that they might just see what they want and that's it so i, I already said five <laughs> i already listed five but this is our bonus one souvenir bags mm -hmm. like here in kaduna i'm not sure there is a wedding you attend even if the bride and groom already have a gift item to gift people you will definitely find souvenir bags in a wedding here in kaduna i'm speaking for kaduna state now you will definitely find souvenir bags souvenir bags so what would you do to get this contract i, I i'm not telling you to make like 150 souvenir bags and live in your shop no just at the side of your shop you make you display even if it's a stain different type and 
hang it somewhere around your shop so that whenever your customer come they will know that you are into making souvenir bags as well so whenever they want souvenir bags or when they even hear that somebody is about to get married and maybe the person started asking where can i make so thing um so so, so souvenir bag or i want to make souvenir bag they, they can easily refer you because they have seen what you have done don't just say it with your mouth please auntie get it displayed in your shop so that people will definitely come and check you out and that is that for this video i hope you learned something i hope i hope i hope you learned something so that thirty thousand naira, fifty thousand naira line in your account you can just invest it because the truth is that not all time you get tailoring job not all time especially for this corona period now it is not all time that you get it's not all, just that like it's not all time you get this um you, you get clients to come give you fabric to make for them so you just have to and in nigeria one stream of income is no longer enough like nigeria is getting tough day by day so you need to just put your hand into some certain things and just invest we don't just know you don't know how well it will do for you unless you have tried you don't just maybe 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 maybe, maybe it will just be your way to becoming a billionaire so that's that's for this video make sure you like please like please share please like share turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be instantly notified anytime i upload a new video i hope you guys learned something today please continue being blessed stay blessed and always be great god loves you bye